Good morning, Israel. This is J.D. Nijah coming to you again with a message of exhortation for the family of Israel, Yasharala. Before I get started, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akak Wadash, Yahweh, the name people ignorantly call God, who is is and always will be the beloved father, uh, Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, Bahashem, comes in the name of Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son, who is our deliverer, our savior, and our big brother, Rakhakwadash, is the Holy Spirit. So, that being said, I have a short lesson. I am um, getting ready to catch some waves, and I am open to the same page that I opened to on the last message, but I found another verse that I think will be um, comforting and uh, just something to edify the the family of Israel the one third who are going to be uh, saved by the Lord the 144 thousand who are under construction as the future governors of the kingdom and the Akim and the Akwath who are Roll in with this truth and uh, are part of the family of, of greater Israel. Okay, this is going to be a quick one because I want to go hit the water. But uh, the last message was about being a truthful nation. We have to tell the truth and as prophets and um, messengers, we have to do this whether it's painful, um, vexing uh, not popular it's it's just something that has to be done so I'm gonna lighten up my messages a little bit because I know Edom's hurt these Esau Edomites and the other nations are, are feeling the uh, pressure I'm sure because this word is going out and it's not coming back void Thus saith our Lord. So, um, what he says will, in this book, will come true. So, any of you who doubt it or scoff it or are mocking at it, <laughs> good luck, you deaf, dumb, and blind kids. You sure play a mean pinball. All right, here we go. Um, God's people shall return. This is in Zechariah. Same chapter, chapter 8 verse 6 through 9 and it reads verse 6 thus said the Lord of hosts if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days should it also be marvelous in mine eyes said the Lord of hosts verse 7 thus said the Lord of hosts behold I will save my people from the east country and from the west country verse 8 and I will bring them and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and in righteousness. Thus said the Lord of hosts, Let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. Okay, there's a few points I want to make in this uh, verse. First of all, uh, Lord of Hosts. Lord of Hosts, that means he is the Lord of all armies. Hosts means armies. So the Lord of Hosts, he says it over and over again. Um, every verse here, six, seven, eight, and nine, he starts with, thus said the Lord of Hosts. Well, eight, he didn't, but um, that means the host of the armies. So second point I wanna make is 
um, I will bring them and they will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So when he says they will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, he's saying, we're going to be with our, with our own folks, man. We're going to be with our tribal brothers and sisters. And we're all going to know what's what. Because we're going to be under God in truth and in righteousness. Hey, baby. That's how it goes. That's how it's going to go. <laughs> so get ready. Don't be, um, don't be afraid. Fear not. Um, what the other point? Uh, let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundations of the house of the Lord host was laid. So this goes into the regeneration, the the uh, scriptural reality that <laughs> the people that are talking to you, like myself, we've been here over and over and over again doing the same things this is a this is a precept on regeneration the prophets which were in the day that the foundations of the house of los blah blah blah, blah Salaki brothers the prophets which were in the day that the foundations of the house of the lord of hosts was laid so if we've been here since the beginning then that's a long time. We've been pumping out this word forever, brother, forever. So, uh, you deaf, dumb, and blind kids, if you can grab that reality that you keep coming back too, but each time you get dumber and <laughs> blinder and deafer. Because you probably can't understand a word I'm saying. It sounds like blah, 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 blah. But to my people, you Yasharala out there, the the family of Israel, you you're like going, is this guy serious? <laughs> we all we know this already. But anyway, um, I just wanted to throw that quick lesson out there. Um, if you can see right under the uh, scriptures I was reading, a prosperous land, man. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so beautiful, brothers. Just hold tight. Be strong. Uh, where does it say? I will save my people in the midst of Jerusalem. Let your hands be strong. Ye that hear these days, these words by the mouth of the prophet. Let your hands be strong. Don't give up. Don't, don't let these... Edomites um, tell you that Maxine Waters is going to um, help you out or that uh, uh, Chip Chip Chipperoo is the way to go. You don't want that cookie. That's a crumbling cookie, that Chip Chip Chipperoo. That's, um, <laughs> that's full of sugar and, and um, <laughs> stuff that is meant to preserve it, preservatives, and all kinds of different... Uh, ingredients that aren't going to give you any nourishment so that being said the message is God's people shall return and when we return like I'm telling you right now I'm, I'm a voice 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 Maybe I should sing my uh, my messages. No, that's probably not a good idea. But yeah, God's people shall return. Thanks, everyone. Um, family of Israel, I love you. Yasharala, the Akiam, keep keep going, brothers. Be strong. And till the next one, Shalom.